Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh To Mr. Hamzah bin Muhammad Dom, our instructor My name is Haikal Zarif bin Ramli and I am representative of group 6 My group will explain about ceramic mark manufacturing process Okay, now we will start with the first process which is cutting clay My name is Bernal Anagiris and I will present the process for a cutting clay and molding process. First, the cutting clay process is a process where some specific portion of the clay is being cut and be used to form a ceramic mark. For this process, a specific type of clay is chosen. Clay powder is combined with quartz, feldspar, and water into a mixture. Once the mixture process is done, the clay will be cut to obtain the correct amount of mud for molding process. The clay slurry is fed into the molding tube and will be cast into a long clay slope. This these clay logs will be cut into a specific portion. As we can see in this three picture, the first picture shows that the clay slurry and the clay slurry is fed into uh, into the molding tube to cast a long clay logs which we can see in the second picture and for the third picture the long clay logs is been cut into pieces for the next process next process is a continuous from a cutting clay process the portion that we get from a cutting clay process is then being put into a mold to get the mark shape. This is known as a molding process. For this process, the portion play this will be placed into a single use mold. The clay will be formed into the mark shape according to the mold that is been used. The mark is then been removed and will be ready for the next process which is connect connecting the handle. As we can see this picture will be shows how the molding process work. For the first picture, the portion are placed into mold for the molding process. Then continue with the second pictures, it shows that the portion are formed into the mark shape. Then the dry mark will be removed from the mold and will be ready for the next process. Okay, I will present about connecting handle process. Okay, that process is create the mark handles in a similar style or any type that you prefer. Uh, then, the mark handles have been created in a similar that type you choose to the body of the mark. Moreover, that mark must dry first and once it have dry and be released for most, Next, you must dip that mark in a mixture of the clay and water. It called slip wish using like a glue and religion. Okay, as you see that first picture, a technician shows and teach us how to install connecting handle to the to the mark with carefully. Okay, uh, for second picture, you can see that the technician also shows and teach us how to put glue or vinegar 
after install connecting handle on the mark. Okay, for next process is cleaning or detailing. Okay, after uh, you completed connecting handle, uh, for the press next process is called cleaning or detailing. Firstly, you must carefully remove any excess clay or rough edge rises of any dust or debris. Then, wash that mark with using water. Uh, lastly, I think you must double check, double check in our surface to make sure that mark clear from any excess clay. Okay, as you see that the first picture is it shows how to remove any excess clay. Okay, as you see that a technician shows his skill or action how to remove NS, any excess clay. I think uh, we can use something sharp, things like knife or steel ruler. Okay, then uh, for the second picture is last but not least is a method to clean it that mark. I think uh, to make sure the mark perfect smooth finish better just using water okay that's all for me thank you sir the next step of manufacturing a ceramic mark will be glazing glazing is a type of painting technique which uses glaze paint glaze paint is a specialized type of paint which consists of mineral which gives it color which is suspended inside a binder Glaze paint gives color and glossy texture to the pottery after it is set in a kiln during the firing process. It is typically used on footwear pottery because it is safe and does not contaminate food. So, how do we perform glazing? There are many methods to do glazing, but the most common types of method are brushing or dipping. The general rule is to let it dry for at least 12 hours. This is because it is needed to be fired in a kiln to set the paint on the surface of the pottery. So how do we do glaze dipping? As the name suggests, the whole mark is dipped into glaze paint. If you want to make a single colored mark, the after dipping, the paint is drained and the mark is let dry for 12 hours. But if you want to color the inside of the mark, after dipping, the paint is drained and let dry to touch. Next step will be to pour glaze paint inside the mark. It is then swirled around to coat the inside evenly. And then the excess glaze paint is drained out and the whole mark is let dry for 12 hours before setting the paint in the kiln. Next is brushing. This is the act of spreading glaze paint on intended surface of mark using brush. This method is commonly used to give mark multiple colors or to create pattern or drawing. This method allows us to use any kinds of brush that we deem as suitable. So, to brush or paint a pottery, first, the a clean brush is dipped into glaze paint and the excess is dripped off. Next, the brush is used to spread and paint the design or pattern on the surface of the mark. This may overlap each other or create fine lines or create flowers or any drawings that you can do with the brush. After the, after the drawing is finished, it is let dry for 12 hours. The advantages of brushing includes it is able to cover large areas with minimal amount of glaze. It is good for fragile or once fired piece which is the mark that we are going to make. It is also good for drawing details on decorative piece 
uh, or overlapping areas because using a certain type of brush allows you to create fine lines as shown in the picture. The advantages of brushing are it is likely to be streaky. This means that the surface that it has paint may have thick lines on it. This way, this fired way, which means uh, pottery that is made from clay, sucks the liquid from the brush, and it is a very slow glazing method. So there are a few remarks before you do glazing. First, the color will change after firing. This means that the color of the glaze paint when it is in liquid form will change after it is set in kiln. So it is wise to draw a test pattern or test drawing on an ex expandable piece of pottery and test fire it first so you know how the design will look after it is set. Uh, you must remember to not put too much paint as the paint will melt and causes the pottery to get stuck inside the kiln. Hi, my name is Haika Zarif bin Ramli and I am going to present about drying and firing our bake process in ceramic mug manufacturing. Drying process. This process is run after the glazing process before the mug are going into the oven. Drying process is run for 12 hours at the room temperature ranging from 20 until 22 degrees Celsius in clear weather. The next process is firing or bake. This process is purposely to harden the mug permanently. In this process, the mug will go into the oven on the conveyor. By this step, the mug will be heated at high temperature to achieve specific properties desired. And the standard oven temperature is around 2200 Fahrenheit or 1204 degrees Celsius. In firing process, there are two main categories of mark need to be considered. The first one is heavy and sturdy mark and the second one is fine mark. In heavy and sturdy mark, there are three types of mark. The first one is pottery, stoneware and earthenware. They use thick clay and the temperature of firing needed is from 1388 until 1690 Kelvin. For pottery mark, the firing temperature is below 1,496 Kelvin. For stoneware, the firing temperature is between 1,423 until 1,553 Kelvin. And for earthenware, the firing temperature is between 1,553 until 1,700 Kelvin. For fine mark category or also known as China coffee mark category, uh, the, the clay used is thin and the temperature of firing needed is above 1748 Kelvin. This type of mark have smooth taste, texture and strong, also durable causing it's very high in price. Assalamualaikum, my name is Afiq and now I will talk about quality control and sublimation process. What is quality control? Quality control is a process to ensure that product quality is maintained or improved. Quality control involves testing of units and determining if they are within the specifications for the final product. The quality control used in a business is highly dependent on the product or industry and several techniques exist for measuring quality. The best method to inspect product is by using quality control chart. It is a graphic that depicts whether sample products or process are meeting their intended specifications. A common form of quality control chart is the X bar chart, where the Y axis on the chart tracks the degree to which the variance of the tested attribute is acceptable. The X axis tracks the sample tested. Analyzing the pattern of variance depicted by a quality control chart can help determine if defects are occurring randomly or systematically. What will be checked for a quality control on a product? 
First, weight and size. The quality control inspector will ensure that the product meet its specification. Second, defect on product. The quality control inspector will inspect any defect on product such as cracks, broken edge and pinholes. Third, overprinting on product. Quality control inspector will inspect any mistake from printing that made by machine that handled by technician. Next, physical testing on product. This process will ensure the product's performance and check whether the product is safe to be used by customer. Lastly, packaging of product. Quality control inspector will make sure the product batch will be wrapped and packing neatly. Let's move to the next process, which is sublimation process. Sublimation utilizes the chemical process, which means that the ink change directly from its solid state on a printed screen into gas without going through the liquid stage, then back into a solid state bonding within the special polymer coating of the product itself. This is some steps for solid sublimation process. First, Choose your graphics that has been designed from the computer. After that, print your chosen graphics by, by using printing machine. After that, cut your graphics to fit your ceramic mark. It must be cut precisely. Then, adjust the settings of your sublimation mark press. Uh, after that, Place your mark into the heat press. After the heat press done, remove the mark from the heat press. Lastly, allow your mark to cool. My name is Anas Nofal Ben I will explain about the finishing process. For finishing process, there are four types of logo or patterns for customization. First is third screen. The second is roasted flowers. Third is sublimation. The fourth is engraving. At present, there are fewer screen printing processes on ceramic materials. The effect of such screen printing is similar to that of roasted flowers, but there is a slightly deficiency. The use of printing for a period of time is easy to follow, and the pattern is not completely missing. If it is not a tight schedule or limited budget, we recommend baking or sublimation printing. Common name for roasted flowers is decal paper. The popular point is that the flower paper is a very thin film and the pattern on the film is printed on the film. This is the printing paper process and the premise of the mark the pink flower. Press the finished flower paper on the mark. It is required that the flower paper should be very flat and completely attached to the top of the mark. There should be no air bubbles in the middle and the printed part should not have wrinkles. Otherwise, the mark is prone to bursting when the flower is packed at high temperature. Some decals should be hand applied by the LPK workers. This is why the 10 identical pattern of the mark we can see a uh, best in a row, and the printed patterns are not in a straight line. Place the paper stuffed mark in the kiln and bake it at high temperature. The key to baking flowers is temperature. The temperature is limited by the color of the paper and the material of the ceramic mark. That is to say, different colors need to be baked at different temperatures in order to make a better product. If the temperature is lower than the temperature is required by the color, the printed pattern is not glossy and the color is not bright. If the temperature is higher than the temperature required by the color, the printed pattern will become pale and white. And if it is not printed, however, the material of the ceramic mark also affect the temperature of roasted flour because the temperature of the roasted flour is just enough to melt the glaze on the ceramic mark. At this time, the ceramic toner on the flower paper will penetrate into the glaze and wait until after the product is cooled down. The towel and the ceramic mark are integrated. 
so the ceramic mark does not fade. If the temperature of the roasted flour is too low, the glaze of the ceramic mark has not yet begun to change, and the baking has been completed. Then the printed color is only attached to the surface of the ceramic mark, and if the pattern is wiped with a wet towel, it will fall off. Sublimation process. Sublimation transfer is to image the portrait, landscape, text, and other images by using an inject printed equipment with sublimation transfer in the inject paper for sublimation transfer, and then heated to the thermal transfer device. At about 200 degrees Celsius, the thermal transfer in on the sublimation paper is sublimated into the substrate, thereby fully transferring the color image on the paper to a material such as textile, porcelain mark, porcelain plate, metal, and egg. Sculpture process for the other names is engraving. Laser is the product of high tech in the 21st century. Laser engraving can also be applied to ceramic engraving. Moreover, modern laser engraving technology adopts numerical control and professional software matching methods. As long as the pattern is designed, the rest will be all are handed over to the laser machine to complete. Laser engraving wants to be traditional engraving techniques. Laser engraving has the characteristic of fast engraving speed and engraving pattern suitable for mass production. That's all for me. Thanks for listening.